Welcome back to Dave the Diver. So, we are in the depths, the lower depths, and we are now probably going to see the seaweed collector's house. Oh, oh. ah, please help me! Whoa. Donna must have eaten something weird, she's going crazy. She's been gobbling up the jellyfish, something's wrong with her. Ah, human? Whoa. I guess now is not the time to judge, please help! Uh, what do I do? I'll have to catch her to try and calm her down. Okay, how... How do we try and calm down this sea turtle? Okay, not like that, maybe. Oh, we ate a bit of... Is that a... Is that a, a carrier bag? Ah, this must belong to humans. It's a plastic bag. Who would throw something like this into the sea? I wonder. I wonder. Thank you, human. Now I'll be able to gather seaweed with Donna again. Phew, what a relief. Almost choked by a plastic bag? That was a close call. Anyways, make sure to relay this message to the humans. Tell them not to throw such things into the sea. Fishing to make a living is understandable. However, I don't understand why they need to throw away such things. If they throw away such horrendous things again, I'll give them a taste of my half-moon kick. How is he going to kick? <laughs> okay, that was a pretty impressive kick. Well, looks like everything's taken care of. I'll have to visit Mimi's restaurant later. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Good thing Donna calmed down. He's got quite the appetite. Hey, you Donna. Okay. Well... Uh, that is, um, everything that we need to do here. Now, thankfully, I encountered a marlin earlier on. And also... A, uh, a bit of the floral... What is it? The floral coral? Whatever it is. So now, with this stuff here, we can actually... Get out of here. If I can find an escape... Thingy. Mayonnaise. Taking it. Ow! Taking you as well. Okay, just steer clear of the jellyfish. The jellyfish hurt. Miso, god damn it. Oh, we're burdened. Come on. Okay, well, we're kind of burdened. I'm gonna have to drop something here. So, what is it? Just one. What do we want to drop? A starfish? I'm kind of... I'm kind of happy with a, a kelp. Come on, we don't need kelp. What are we going to do with kelp? Yeah, let's just get rid of some of these jellyfish. Oh, hang on, there we go. There we go. The fragments are useful. But kelp... ...is not. Okay, come on, let's let's get out of here. There must be an escape thingy somewhere. An escape pod. Just keep your eyes out. Alright, and I know... There we go. Okay, let's get the hell out. Okay, that was actually a pretty good run. I mean, we got some decent fish, got some marlin, got all the stuff for the Sea People Village. Yes, we will be eating that seahorse. Yes, we will be keeping everything. Bancho's thrilled. We are all good. Oh no, he's come to tell us of another nighttime quest or something, has he? It's stormy again. Don't miss this opportunity. Choo-choo. Ugh, stormy night too. Um, find the vortex. I'm, I'm actually going to give this a miss, I think. I mean, I know yeah, they can be kind of interesting. But, uh, the, the bosses themselves... I mean, the, the first couple of bosses were... Do, do I want to say gimmicky? No. 
You know, there was... Oh, what's going on here? Is that... Did nothing grow here? What? What's, what's going on? I think maybe I need to put some seeds here? Let's put some... Yeah, okay. Maybe the pests came and ate it or something? I don't know. Anyhow. Uh, everything done here. Let's head back to Boncho's... Re uh, actually, let's check out the fishy farm quickly. Gotta do the rounds, you know how it is. Okay, 70%, that's good. 8%, that's good. 93, that, that's still fine, as far as I'm concerned. And 32, all good. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Back to Sushi House. So, okay, our ingredients have arrived, excellent. Now, let's firstly ask Bancho about how to make this porridge. Hmm, coral porridge. Something I've made before. Yes, there's another 6C person. Here's the ingredient. Hmm, alright, hand it over to me. <laughs> that won't be nearly that impressive when we hand this to them under the sea. Hmm, corals. I don't imagine them tasting good. Thank you, Bancho. Awesome, I can take this to the sea person at the workshop. Okay, so that is two things we can do now. Let's check the to-do list. Uh, so next we need to... Uh, we need to take the adhesive to, from Cobra. Yeah, so all the stuff now happens in the uh, Sea People's Village. And then we can find the... Yeah, we should be able to do that in the workshop. Okay, all good. All good. But for the moment, so we've got our VIP coming in one day, and we also have the event happening in one day, the Marlin event. So let's just get to it. Let's start off with the menu. Oh yeah, I wanted to see if I could... So I'll hold off on that there for the time being. Now what were we upgrading? Let's arrange by taste. Thresher so Shock, that's what it was, wasn't it? And the Hammerhead. Oh, we can get this up as well. You know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So now we have two items that are in the tasty range of 195. And basically, any more Thresher Sharks that I murder, and any more Hammerheads, will contribute to us being able to upgrade this to the next tasty level. So that all helps. Yeah, that uh, that all... every little bit helps. Uh, meanwhile, you guys... I said I wasn't going to upgrade the tuna, because these things just sell for a buttload. So yeah, so let's just sell... We'll, we'll put ten of them on the menu today. Um, and actually, you know what? We should probably think about raising some funds. Yeah, I think, I think that's what we should do. Time to get some big boy money, because... Gonna put two, two on here. I would like to upgrade our harpoon gun. And we can do it. We certainly can. Like, this is... Oh, this is nice. The vegetable sushi. It's only level one. Uh, it's gonna... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell a few. So we have, what, eight of them? We'll sell four. That should bring in uh, four, eight, twelve, uh, almost 1600 almost. Let's say $1,500 with that there. Okay, another... Let, okay, actually, let's organize by price. Oh, should I start selling these super tasty dishes? I mean, that would definitely get us the kind of dinero that we need. But I, I don't know if we're going to have a special event that will call for it. And that, you know, that's the only reason I'm holding off. Sea grape. 
Let's maybe start selling some of this sushi. Wait, so we have 13. I'm gonna sell 10. Selling a lot of pricey sushi here. I mean, I, I, I don't think I'd, I'd eat at this place. Don't think I'd be able to afford to. Stingray meat. Yeah, let's sell some stingrays. Fives. And just a couple of other Ghibli the items. Our customary shark head. That has served us well. And Cleon sushi. This is alright. Let's upgrade it. And yeah, let's serve some Cleons. Uh, six of them. Alright, let's go. Sushi time, folks. Sushi time. Okay, keep an eye out on things. I want to try and get a little faster on the old service. Okay, I'm going to get to the food. Okay, here we go. What is that? What's that bump sound? Bump. All right, let's keep it going. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, clear those plates. Thank you. Good stuff. Uh... Oh dear. Well, I tried. Come on, who wanted Shark's Head? You wanted Shark's Head. Alright. Lots of good likes. I like that. I like that. Excellent. There we go. That's more like it. That is more like it, guys. Well done. Okay, yeah, we failed Stormy Night 2, but yeah. VIP visit date. Okay, we've got all the ingredients for him, so I'm absolutely fine with that. Phew, it's not easy crafting a suit in one day. But I am me, so I did it. Ooh, that looks nice. Bahaha, <laughs> why don't you go ahead and try it on? Ooh, that suits you well. Haha, <laughs> the size is perfect as well. Thank you, Dr. Bacon. It feels warm. Maybe because it's made from the divine tree fruit cloth. With that suit, you can not only roam underwater, but also cold places freely. Good. Time to go to the glacial area. Okay, well done. Explore the glacial area. Cold resistant suit got. You've got a cold resistant suit that protects you from the cold environment to the glacial area. Upgrade it further using the eye diver to dive in deeper. What, so is this, does this, we have to, does this thing count as its own thing now? What's up, Dave? You doing good? Uh, you seem energetic today. Yeah, yeah man. Can you come to the chicken farm real quick? I got something to show you. Okay. Chicken farm upgrade. It's party day today. Prepare the right ingredients to make a fortune. Damn straight. Damn straight. Okay, so today... Mission. Let's check out the farm. If we can catch some more marlins, that's great. And if we can serve them, we'll just get an absolute killing. Got another egg. Good. Let's clear these weeds. Course, harvest all this good. Come on, come on. Rice. Come on. Awesome. So we can start farming again. Uh, 
Uh, where's the... So no rice seeds. Okay, so yeah, it should, it should just top up itself, right? Or um, Otto should. Uh, what does he want to talk about? Mm -hmm. What's going on, Sammy? Yeah. I was browsing the internet to buy a new instrument. Yeah, yeah. And I found some awesome stuff on sale for a limited time, so I bought them just before the sale ended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you don't need to worry about coming to the chicken farm when you're busy. Mm. Awesome stuff. What exactly did you... Yeah. Here it is. The first item is the egg storage box. Yeah. The storage can keep up to 50 eggs. Yeah. Now you don't have to collect eggs every day. You can just wait for them to fill up and collect them all in one go. Mm. Whoa! Shut out. That's not all. Behold, the chicken feeder. Yeah. This ma machine automatically feeds your chickens and increases the egg production rate. Yeah. With these machines... <laughs> I love how he keeps saying yeah. With these machines, you'll have the ultimate chicken farm. What do you think, Dave? <laughs> They're amazing. <laughs> but I guess they're not free, right? Hmm. Nope, it's a bit short on cash. Uh, so I'm preparing for a new album. <laughs> but I bought them at a special discount. It was pretty much a, d a steal. Yeah. I don't think Sammy can say no no as long as there's a discount. Shut out. I'll hold on to them for now. Just tell me when you need them. Yeah. I can install them for free. Haha. <laughs> mm. Hmm, they seem pretty useful. I should think about it. Okay, so those upgrades he's talking about. Uh, yeah, we know about that. And the chicken feeder. Okay, but then chicken feed is something else we're gonna have to consider. Five flippin' thousand. Are you serious? Feeds the chickens regularly to increase egg production rate. Are you flippin' serious? What? Say what? My days. Okay, yeah, we're clearly gonna have to up our... Yeah, we're gonna have to up our thingy game, won't we? Um, let's head back out to the boat. Time to head to the Sea People Village. Uh, farming report. Okay, we're growing three. Oh, we're growing three wheat through... Uh, today's harvest, we've got an egg. Okay. Nutrition's only 55, why is that? Are we supposed to leave it a while, just to let the soil recover or something? Not sure. Anyhow, um... I will take... What are we taking? I don't imagine a storage box will be that useful in the glacial area. So no, we're, we're good. Uh, let's go to the Sea Peoples first. We have some stuff to do there. Okay, so firstly... Mimi. Oh, ho, ho, thanks to you, Dave. I'm able to open the restaurant again. It looks good. Oh, I don't want to call this repayment of debt. But I was thinking of making food that humans can eat. Really, Mimi? Hey, I'm a better cook than any other person, sea person. I'm sure my food will surprise even humans. I mean, I do need to experiment. Oh ho ho. I'll tell you when it's ready. Look forward to it. Sweet. Sweet. And yeah, we get some uh, bay for that. Alright, next. Over here by the workshop. Uh, oh, no, actually, here by the talk about the adhesive. Oh, you're back! My friend had something we could use. In that case, please start working on it immediately, Dave. Okay, so we have to repair the Poseidon arm. Let's go. Okay, stay inside the lines. What am I doing? What am I doing? Inside the line. Oh. Okay, it's pretty good. Wow, it looks completely undamaged. Phew, looks like I managed to glue it on quite well. Thank you so much, Dave. We won't forget this. Why do you keep getting these tremors? They seem to be coming at shorter intervals. 
Oh, oh King Long, please protect our village. <laughs> Alright, a hundred bay for that. That was good. That was very good. Oh god, these guys have got a request as well. Well, we'll see what it is. Might not do it. Uh, where could Maro have gone? Hmm, something wrong? Oh, human. Actually, Maro disappeared. I'm sure Maro went to the underwater lake. I'm sure. Underwater lake? Yes, it's a mystical and beautiful place. Tenzin told us not to go, as there's a frightening monster there. The thing is, Maro said there's a crack that we could fit through. I didn't go because I was afraid I'd get scolded, but I think Maro went alone. What a troublemaker. Where is this place? It's closed off with a door in front of it so that no one can get in, but there should be a guide sign nearby. The sign has this kind of writing on it. Please bring Maro back. Tenzel will be furious when he finds out. Okay, I'll try looking. Hmm, a sign with the language of the sea people. Okay. That wouldn't be in the glacial area, would it? Well, we'll, we'll see. Right now, let's give this porridge to him. Oh, this is... It's coral porridge. You should eat it and rest. Hmm, how can a human make our food? Put it there and go. I have to check if it's poisoned. What an unreasonable sea person. Whatever. Okay, we got some bay for that. Alright. Now, if we go and we come straight back, will he be happy with us? Today, I'll do my best to prepare the blacksmith shop, so come by tomorrow. Okay. Well, that's something, right? That is better than nothing. Uh, let's check around here. Let's see, we'll see if we can find that sign. No, nothing. Nothing on the nothing on the right side, anyway. Which means if there is that sign, it might be. Yeah, would it be in the glacial area? Not sure. Yeah, not too sure. Anyhow, let's check out El Glacial area. Like so. Oh, wait, let's just check to the right quickly. Let's just see. Okay, there's that other portal. But is there anything else here? No. No, no nothing I can see at least. Alright, so... Yeah, glacial area it is, by the look of it. Let's go. Um, alright, down we go. And further still. Whoa! God damn, this is one tough fish. This, uh, this eel took three shots. Took three shots to bring it down. Uh, let's keep going down. So this is where we saw that mural. That we, yeah, okay, so this is where we were. We couldn't take a picture of this before. Uh, but maybe we can now. Oh, and we had to defrost the thingy, didn't we? Ugh. Okay. There we go. Okay. That is good. Uh, now what? Were we were we going down from here? Okay, so I've just uh, returned from the glacial area, and uh, truth be told, I'm not exactly sure where we're supposed to be going next. So back in the Sea People village, there's uh, this gentleman here in the seed shop has asked us to collect a book, and the book... Oh, this book. <laughs> this is the one. He asked us to collect a book, and the book is called... There are mutant sea people in the basement, and as king, I can't just sit by, I must do something, volume two. Great job on finding it. Haha, <laughs> awesome. 
I read it in the evening while drinking some seaweed wine. Okay, and he gives us some bait for that. Very good. Kanzin's reading time. It's not really a gift, but please take this. Is it a seed? What is it? It's a very flavored, flavorful uh, seaweed seed. It's grown in our village. Oh, it might be a difficult, a bit difficult to grow on the farm. Hmm, human facilities, huh? <laughs> Try going to the village's farmer, G Gumo. If you're lucky, Gumo might be able to help you grow the seaweed. Okay, so it looks like we can do the same kind of sea, uh, like farming thing, but down here with the sea people's like resources. So let's have a let's have a quick natter with Gumo before we head back up, because of course today's a big day. Today we have the Marlin event at the restaurant, and we also have, is it Wang Peng, the sushi chef, the um, the Chinese chef against whom Bancho is going to be competing. So let's uh, get up there in a bit. Hmm, you're asking me if I can harvest seaweed? Well, it can be harvested at the seaweed farm behind me, but I don't want to do it for a human. What, a, what an unkind sea person, just as I... Uh, should I leave? Mm. No, seaweed directly from here will be better for cooking. I'll have to try my best to convince him. Okay. This is the seed that Kanzin gave me. Can you please help me? Mm. Kanzin gave it to a human? That's strange. Oh. I'm not sure what a human will be able to make with the seaweed. Oh. But I'll think about it if you can make something that's extraordinary. <laughs> Bring me a dish made of seaweed. Mm. Mm, looks like I'll have to ask Boncho. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Easy. Oh. Seaweed dish. If I, assuming I haven't already used up all of our seaweed dishes. But no, we should be fine. We should be good with it. So, back to... Is it back to the restaurant? It might be back to the restaurant. Well, back up to the boat, at least. Okay, so, yep, let's quickly pop back to the restaurant. And Pancho? Hmm, cuisine made with seaweed? A simple dish using seaweed will not have a strong impression. They probably have that in the Sea People village. First, bring me seaweed, white rice, and sea urchin. Then I'll give you a harmonious blend of ingredients from the land and sea. Hmm, white rice, sea urchin, and seaweed. Uh, I'll have to try gathering them. I think we've got all of those things, haven't we? You brought the ingredients. Then I'll start preparing sea urchin, seaweed, rice. There he goes. That's Bancho for you guys. That is Bancho. Here, the sea people should be satisfied with this. Thank you, Bancho. Let's bring it to the Sea People Farmer. Indeed. Okay, but not just yet. So... First of all, let's head back to the... What do we do? Uh, check the farm quickly. See if any weeds need pulling. No. Nope. No, that's all good. Uh, Wait, do we need to... Yeah, we didn't we didn't get a notification about eggs. So back to the boat. Uh, let's just see what we got here. Maybe a storage box. Okay, and let's go for a quick dive. Remember the more marlins we can catch the better. Alright, this is a good run. Now, uh, let's get out of here. Yeah, I managed to take down a few sharks. Caught a, uh, a marlin. So this particular festival should... Like, should be good. Uh, yeah, we will take all of that. Eat all of those seahorses. Well, let's go into the fish tank. 
And let's get back to the sushi place. Oh, we've got crops to harvest as well. Alright, well, let's check out the farm quickly. Okay, pull some weeds out. And we get some wheat. Now I'm wondering, maybe we should leave, you know, some of the soil to just chill for a bit. There we go, so we'll water everything, but we'll just, we'll, we'll let some of them just chill for a bit, just so that they can kind of, I don't know, re recover from the trauma of being fished, uh, of being uh, farmed. Yeah, and then head back to the restaurant. Okay, VIP visit day, here we go. Come on, Bancho. Show them what you got. Hello everyone, this is Yui from NDC Station. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, today is the day of the showdown and challenge the chef. Bancho, are you ready? Of course. And Wang Pang? The same, I can't wait. Excellent, then let's begin Challenge the Chef now! <laughs> the dragon versus the tiger. And Gourmet Vincent is going to be the judge. Bancho will compete with the famous chef in a new TV show. Let's bring you the ingredients he asked for. Oh, what? We actually have to do something? What? Oh, come on. I can't... Okay. That wasn't too bad. Prep the carrots. Prep the onion. Alright, not too bad. Prep the stargazer. Uh, hold. I see, okay. Put the fish with what? Okay. Coating the fish with starch. Let's go. I think we're doing okay. I didn't know there'd be this whole minigame element to it. But that is fine with me. Boom! Perfect. Fry the fish in oil. Uh, hold it in there. Awesome. Stuff right the ingredients. What? Okay. Man, all this uh, cooking making me look hungry. All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Boom. Gotta say, Chef Chef Pung's look does look more appetizing.
Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Quality. Oh, sweet. So sweet. Sweet and sour stargazer. Oh, no, I lost? But I'm the best chef in Hong Kong. Of course, your dish was excellent, Wang Pang. You used the finest ingredients for a flawless taste, but it wasn't good enough to impress me. But Pancho's dish? It gave me a whole new experience with a fish called Stargazer. To be honest, it was my first time tasting the fish. Pancho gave me a perfect blend of the interesting and fresh taste of the Stargazer, and the classic taste of the sweet and sour sauce. If we're talking about only about the taste, yours was better, Wang Pang. But I highly admire Bancho's attempt to present a foreign taste in a familiar way. My final verdict is Bancho. Congratulations. Oh, Vincent clearly explained the reason for his decision. Bancho wins the match. Bancho, what are your thoughts? Ah, my thoughts. I wanted to present the... Thank you, Bancho. The champion saves, his, saves words for more action and we love it. <laughs> Today's winner of Challenge the Chef is Bancho, the defending champion. What a competition. What a judgment. See you next time. This was Reporter Yui. Okay. Amazing, Bancho. You bested Wang Pang in his area of expertise. Hmm, who cares about nationality when it comes to food? Flavors, fair game. Why do I have this feeling that the show will return again? <laughs> but I have full confidence in your victory. Speaking of the contest. I got some new inspiration for Chinese cuisine while preparing the, for the competition. I will write them down. Help me try something new when you have time. Alright. Let us begin the contest. Done. Yeah, well done, Bancho. Well done. Uh, so... How was that? Yeah, well that... Okay, that, that mission's done. Okay, and uh, yeah, now just uh, time to open the restaurant. Actually, let's uh, just check Cookster quickly. It's prompting us. Oh. Oh, come on. I need that best taste. I need it. And that, of course, is going to come from the menu. From what we can prep here adequately. But today is also the, the day, isn't it? Event day. So, yeah, we got to prep something with um, the marlin. So do we want to enhance this? No. I'm going to say no. Marlin, so what, we, we can prepare 24 of those? Is that right? Oh, so they're, they're, they're the little dishes, okay. Holy moly, 24. Okay, it's going to be a lot. But, I mean... Yeah, what, why not? Uh, we're gonna prep that. Yeah, let's get some of those. And... What did we say? The eel? No, we said we were gonna check out by this here. The long nose, can we? Yeah, we can upgrade that. 174. Okay, I'm gonna do it. All right, let's open up this bad boy and prepare for this event. Okay, I'm getting right on the drink straight away. Uh, how are we doing? Come on! Good stuff! Uh... How's everyone doing? Everyone's happy? I'm happy with that. Sweeties, we are making some serious money here. Come on, Dave. 
good stuff. Uh, more, more beer. You got the beer. I will clean up. I'll pour the beer. Okay, it's good. Holy moly. Did we do some serious bank there, guys? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. That is nice. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, look at that 16 grand. This is great. So, for sure, first of all, before anything else, uh, let's go in the iDiver app. Oh, hey, yeah, so we can upgrade the suit even more. Look at that. We can go mega deep. Damn. Well, maybe we'll think about that there. But more than anything else, I want this upgraded harpoon gun. Do I? Yes, I do. Fred, don't second guess. Just get it. There we go. Dragon harpoon gun. Done. Oh, that felt good. That felt good. We can even... Oh, we can even do the suit. That's brilliant. Okay, well, guys, we're going to take a quick break here while we revel in all of the crazy big money we've just made. And, uh, yeah, consider going down to the Sea People Village to enter the glacial area. But, yeah, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.